I've expressed and explained my frustration with the universally normalized greeting of, how are you? It frustrates me, not because I'm a sociopath, but because one, a profoundly deep existential question has been reduced and diluted to a flimsy synonym for hello. And I know that is the case because two, rarely is a genuine response to that question expected, let alone tolerated, given the supreme restraints of time and attention that most people live under. Basically, how are you is a $10,000 question that only has capacity for a 10 cent answer. And I'm the sociopath for merely pointing that out. I've also shared a way to do something productive with things that bother, annoy, or strongly trigger you. And I have a hybrid solution to this particular dialogue dilemma that I'd like to share with you. It's useful because we will receive that prompt with nearly every real life social encounter we have. Here's my internal solution, which prepares me for external engagement. First, I had to acknowledge the lifetime of conditioning I received to automatically reply, I'm great, or I'm fine, whenever asked that question. In fact, it was while I was in a two-year period of hellish darkness that I woke to my aggravation with this social ritual that passes for genuine concern. At that time, I was barely held together by a single strand of string. And when asked that question, I knew no asker would want or be prepared to handle hearing my truth. So, while minimally functional, I was burdened to printify and falsify my reality in order to keep things moving along. And that was precisely what made me an extreme cave dweller during a time when I most needed connection. I suspect a lot of people also choose to suffer in private silence because of this hurried and shallow practice. Three words can metastasize into social isolation that is now an actual epidemic. Are we willing to take an honest look at causation? Now, as part of my morning orientation, I scan and select a true and socially acceptable statement that I can use that day. My default is, I am grateful for life. That is quick and always true, no matter what I'm facing. If I feel especially safe or expansive, my reply may be, I am available to be a force for good on this beautiful planet. That one is aspirational and of course, not consistently executed, but it is an abiding motive of mine. This is not trivial or hair splitting. This is the work of integration, of creating alignment and congruence between your inner world and your outer world. I have lost closeness with those who have shamed me for having no choice but to acknowledge this pain point. Sadly, that was a lot of people. Fortunately, that cleansing made space for new people who get it, most of whom are neurodivergent. All this is just bringing a tiny bit of consciousness to a social custom that hasn't received much thought or consideration. Ultimate point, being socially courteous does not have to come at the expense of suppressing what is true and meaningful to you. These forces don't have to be at odds. Instead, we can add light and lubrication to old, stale, 
insincere ways of greeting each other. And while you may not agree with this approach, there is certainly no need to pathologize it. Peace to all.